Hey guys, I finally got the battery backup done. This is the unit here. Just quickly mounted, uh, or I haven't mounted it, but the display here showing 13 volts. It's currently not plugged in to the wall, but it's usually back there. And you can see I've got the connector there that goes to the charger on the wall. So, Batteries inside this waterproof case. This is the line that goes to the pump. I've mounted the DC pump, just a typical generic DC pump top. Gives it some good uh, water agitation to uh, get oxygen in the water. So I'll open this thing up. Got the two locks on the side. There you go, it's super simple. Just uh this one is a 22 amp hour 12 volt lithium ion battery, pretty generic battery. I got this on Amazon. I got everything on Amazon, even the case. So here's the wires for the little display unit here showing my voltage and you've got I've soldered or crimped in some wires for the the pump itself and then the charging wire is right there and you can see I have a fuse on the charger it's a NOCO 1 amp charger and I have fused with an inline fuse the pump itself and they're both 2 amp fuses Super simple, power and ground from the charger, power and ground from the, the pump itself, DC pump, so it's gonna run very minimal amperage and it's directly to the, to the battery, so there's no inverter. I'll show you over here where I have the actual physical NOCO charger plugged in. And it's just a one amp NOCO genus, very simple. Very good quality. There you go, guys. It's a pretty simple setup. Right now, it's not even plugged in. It's running pretty good power. I think it said 13, 13 volts, 12.9. So definitely will run it for a long time. And I, I bet you about three days if there was a power outage. Small nano tank, it's all you really need. And I highly doubt that the power would be out for more than that. Alright guys, thank you.